One of, the fair, one of my favourite uh, structures is the kaleidoscopic fractal. So um, the idea again is you have basically a series of planes that you're reflecting uh, the points across, uh, kind of like a kaleidoscope. Uh, so this is the Menga uh, cube that I mentioned before. Um, but what we can do is in addition to the reflections and translations, we can apply some rotations. Um, let's see which one. So if we rotate a little bit one way, it becomes sort of almost wicker-like um, structure. Or if we, let's see, get sort of all these details in the appearing. We can get some quite sort of organic, almost rock-like uh, features as well. The same geometric for the moment. Um, <laughs> Kind of reminds me a bit of Wally, the uh, cartoon. So zoom in a bit. So at the moment we're limited uh, to the amount of resolution we have based on, on the number of iterations I'm doing in each calculation. Um, uh, what's actually happening, I'm doing up to 80 steps into the scene, and each, each step is running the fractal calculation. Um, maybe um, sort of 10 times, and so uh, you can have up to 800 calculations per pixel, uh, per ray, so it's, um, it's, it's only now where we have uh, the power of the GPU to, to be able to kind of do these sort of things. And this structure is the one that um, uh, we had in the, in the video. This pyramid um, thing. Um, right, okay. A few more than one last video. So the tree box. Um, this is a again. This is a another. Um, this is it's the same kaleidoscopic fractal. It's got different reflection planes. But it's the, this is really nice because you have all these details and surfaces. It's almost like a kind of Fabergé type uh, structure. With these intricate details. And on the surface you can also see uh, other fractals as well, so um, some nice tree effects and things like that. Um, <clears throat> so we almost have the, the Koch curve uh, there just appearing out of the, the surface. So the last sort of scene that I want to show you is, um, is this one, so um, it's kind of, we've got to have these blocks floating in the air here, and then what we can do is um, tweak a few parameters. Okay, so we space, space the blocks out a bit, and then And suddenly you get these these kind of pipes. I really like this structure. It's kind of this sort of steampunk uh, Victorian mechanical circuit board mashup thing. Um, so that's kind of the, the, the fascination about these uh, these structures. You can, I mean, literally spend hours and hours and hours, and believe me, I have, um, just exploring them and, and trying different parameters and. and uh, tweaking things and, and basically creating seams that you could never realistically create uh, in any reasonable time using a 3D program or um, uh, other sort of techniques. Um, and the fact it's, it's kind of interactive, you can really explore uh, the parameters and, and tweak things in, in real time and um, this is what makes it so much fun. So this, this, whole, um, this whole system, basically looking to, I mean it's very much an alpha level thing at the moment, uh, looking to uh, create it into a, um, uh, some sort of product, uh, ideally, where it'd be sort of an app-type pricing to get a, uh, a subscription where you can save your presets, you can do high-res renders and um, share your, 